can't just die like this. Please, sir. I need help bad. What's going on? I'm blight, sir. Newton blight. I've lost my mate. Can't find him anywhere. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed from the Pembroke Hospital. Please, calm down and give me more details. Oswald and myself were both infantry, sir. We were en route for the hospital, but... Well, we had a disagreement. And Oswald ran off towards the canal. How long have you been searching for him? I, ca I can't go there. Too many rats by the water. Fucking rats. Can't stand them since the war, sir. Can't stand them at all. Don't be ashamed, Mr. Blight. Many soldiers who survived the trenches suffer from musophobia. I'll see what I can do for your friend. Where was your friend the last time you saw him? He went down by the canal. He didn't want to go to the hospital. I think he went to the sewers on purpose. So I couldn't go after him. I have all the information I need for now. If I find anything out about your friend, I'll let you know as soon as I can. Thank you, Dr. Reed. You're sure you don't come back with me? Nah, I have to see someone at the hospital. Be careful. You look so bad they may keep you as a patient. Fuck them. I don't like hospitals. Or doctors. Well then, when you go back to Whitechapel, you may find this useful. What is it? A pass for a free medical exam by the best nurse available. Just read it. I don't read well, but thank you, I guess. This man has been savagely attacked and dragged to the floor.
sort of creature is this? a lot to check, but I should anyway. Some voucher for a free checkup in Whitechapel. What is Nurse Crane up to? I really must find her. Are you injured, sir? Help me get out of here. I need to get out. I'm Dr. Reed, and I'd be glad to help you, but you must calm down first. Please, take a deep breath and tell me your name. Okay. Okay, I I I'm Oswald Thatcher. Please, I need to get out. Mr. Thatcher, your friend Newton sent me to help you. Do you remember him? Yes. Yes, I do. Good. Now leave this place and enjoy the cool night air. It's quite invigorating. I'm sure you'll feel better if you do.
I feel sick. Get over here now. I've never seen so many people die at the same time. For God's sake, we're still alive and healthy. Can't you be satisfied with that? We have no reason to be here. I have not survived being buried in a mass grave for these trivialities. We are not in the middle of a battlefield anymore. Things are different here. In so many ways. Sometimes you act like a real jerk, you know that? Oh, come on, Ozzy, don't be like that. What, like what? Like someone who felt betrayed by the man he loves. Did you ever even try to find me? Rescue me? You know, it's not like that. I wanted to. I was so afraid to leave the hospital, not to be seen with you. <sighs> we survived this shit together. That's all that matters. I know you did your best. the wall, right? And, and fuck them all. Fuck the wall. Fuck them all. Hello again, Mr. Thatcher. Do you feel any better now? Yes. This neighborhood may stink of dog shit and reek of piss, but to me it smells like the purest mountain air. Why were you locked in that sewer? What happened? I went by the canal after an argument with a friend. Got chased by these fucking wankers and had to barricade myself in, despite my claustrophobia. Tell me about your claustrophobia. Has anyone given you an official diagnosis? That's what the bloody doctor said. But I don't want to go to a hospital to get checked again. I'll deal with it my own way.
Goodbye, Mr. Thatcher. Try to take care of yourself. Sorry. Hello again, Mr. Blight. I'm happy to see Mr. Thatcher is safe for now. I'm eternally grateful, Doctor. We were total strangers and you helped us anyway. Can't thank you enough, sir. How do you feel about Oswald Thatcher? You are more than friends, aren't you? I, I love him. I love Oswald. We knew we wouldn't survive the war without each other. But I am terrified, Doctor. What frightens you so much? What if people find out? Oswald says I'm ashamed, but it ain't that. It's more, well, you know, I never thought I'd love a man. Enjoy your love. And enjoy life as long as you can, Mr. Blight. Don't let anyone tell you who you should love or how you should love them. I appreciate your kind words, sir. But it ain't that easy. It's all so new to me. Why do you stay here now that Mr. Thatcher's back? It's complicated. Since the war, Oswald's been really nervous with the idea of entering any hospital. And me, I've got my own issues. Can you speak about them? Rats, sir. Even seeing one, they turn me. Just want to run. It's that fear that stopped me from going after Oswald when he left. Goodbye, Mr. Blight. Take care of yourself. Good evening. Evening, Dr. Reed. Do you want to talk about why you have this fear of being enclosed, Mr. Thatcher? No, I really don't. An irrational fear like yours is usually rooted in a specific event. Perhaps it would help to talk about it. Well, Doctor, take a guess then, if you're so interested in my case. When I rescued you, you expressed joy at seeing the sky again. So I'm inclined to believe you were trapped or buried somehow. Maybe during a shelling. Jeez. You're good, Doc. You're really good. Go on, please. Tell me more about it. Newton and I were trapped in a circulation tunnel after an artillery attack. We were buried alive for several days without ever knowing if we'd be found. Oswald, tell me about what happened when you were buried in that tunnel with Newton. It was more than dark. It was black as pitch. Hours seemed like days, and days like months. Oh, the terror, the shameful thoughts. Lord have mercy. Shameful thoughts? Tell me about them. At some point, I don't remember which day, when I thought we'd never be rescued, that this would be our end, I thought, I thought about, I thought about... <laughs> say it, Mr. Thatcher. If you ever want to heal, you have to say it. I thought about what I could do to survive, just for a few more days. I thought about killing you, killing and eating him. The man I fucking love.
Goodbye, Mr. Thatcher. Try to take care of yourself. 